I'm Stacy, and welcome to the Retro Time Machine. And today I'm going to show you all the crafts you need to make this fun spring gift basket. So this is a more modern take on a May Day basket. So May Day dates back to the Roman periods and it was the celebration of spring and spring had finally come. It definitely kind of spun off to a few different holidays where like you have Beltane where they make really big bonfires and things like that. So I wanted to include keynotes from all of that. So I went with a traditional flower basket, which was normally a basket hung on the door and filled with live flowers. Um, and then to celebrate the more campfire side, I did a campfire scented soap inside of these. Um, you can do all flowers, fake flowers, paper flowers, I have a great tutorial for that. Or I went with a floral motif all throughout, so I did flower face mask, flower bath soak, um, flower jam, flower seeds. So I wanted to kind of mix it up, but I still wanted to keep some of the traditional notes involved. And this can be a gift for anyone, for spring, for birthday, for Mother's Day, for May Day. There are lots of ways that you can repurpose this. And this is a great shape, this container, to have for any occasion. You can make it and then shove it full of great gifts for Christmas, for birthdays. And it takes like three seconds to make. So if you forgot, you can definitely make this for a really quick birthday. Like, oh my gosh, I gotta go. So. I hope you guys really enjoy this video and let me know what you put in your May Day basket below. All right guys, take care and God bless. To make the paper cone baskets, I used a low heat glow stick, a 12 by 12 sheet of double sided paper and 18 inches of twine of any color and a hole punch of some kind. When using double sided paper, you want the inside to face you. So when you curve in those cone shapes, you get the design on the outside of the paper. When wrestling with the paper, I realized it's probably much easier to do a slight tap fold and half on each side and meet in the cone center. Once you've decided on your basket shape, you're going to want to pinch and hold at the top and hot glue down the edges, securing those flaps and press and seal all the way down. You're going to realize that there will be a weak point in your basket on the interior corner, and you're going to also secure that with a bit of hot glue and fold that over. To find the meridian line in your basket, fold in half and go about one inch down. Use your whole bunch of choice and go all the way through because this is where we're gonna hang the threads for our basket. When tying your knots, you don't have to be perfectly even on each strand of thread, but you do want them to line up in the middle space having an equal amount. So I say keep a marker, clip and turn. You can see here that that one's a little bit shorter, but we're always going to match up our knots so when we feed them through, the basket will hang evenly. Once you push your knots on through to the other side, Carefully pull them all the way through, making sure to use that knot marker as an end cap. This is why I like a low heat glue gun for this craft because you're going to be touching and tapping those excess strings down. Move on to the other side and repeat the process where you punch that little knot through. It's a great marker to have when you're trying to secure these down. Pull up and hot glue them down. Be very, very careful if you're using a hot one because it can burn. To make my favorite at home bath soak and scrub, I like to use a bunch of different Epsom salts, bath and massage oil. And most of this I find at TJ Maxx, Marshalls or at Home Goods. I am a bargain shopper. So I'm using rose-based Epsom salts for an anti-inflammatory purpose. I'm using a one cup measurement for three scoops of each. I'm using the elderberry for healthy skin. It's also tinted with lemon and sage to uplift the mood. And I will also be using a hemp based Epsom salt for moisture and with a tint of thyme and bergamot to open the mind. So here I'm adding in three tablespoons of dried lavender flour, mixing that in nice and thoroughly, and three tablespoons of a massage oil. This one is sandalwood, just to add a bit more moisture and relax to the back. 
I'm using a bubble bath to act as a binding agent to kind of hold everything together. I'm using six tablespoons of this. And it's just going to make this be able to be a bath soak or bubble bath or also a body scrub depending on how people want to use your gift. You can see everything really starts to come together as you mix in that bubble bath. It almost looks something like a snow cone, which is absolutely delicious. Now when filling your basket, you're going to want to put anything that needs to remain flat in first so it can lay along the back of the basket. Then you're going to want to put in any live flowers. I would recommend putting the heavier items in the bottom so the weight is evenly distributed. And then just pack and play with different positionings and different items of your choice. And you could always top with some tissue paper for some added wow factor. I hope you enjoy this quick little gift basket craft and have an amazing May Day, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make a spring gift basket. 